So how can the P3 help you to be more creative? For some songs, some cues, you can use colors and, and effects from the lighting console. And for some so songs and some cues, you can use video into the fixtures. And you will actually see that in the light show as well, that some parts you see it's colors from the desk, and some parts you see video running across the product. So you, as a programmer, you really get the best of both worlds, a mix of video and light controls. And this is an a achieved using the special P3 mix and P3 switch channels. This is a special day mix channel on these fixtures, which I will show you in the demo as well, that allows the fixture to move between showing the colors from the lighting desk and showing the video coming from the video player. So you can really crossfade between those two locks. How can it help you be more efficient? The first thing there is remote addressing and setup. As you will see on the P3, once you map fixtures on the P3, all the addressing is done automatically. All the setup, the mix mode, start address is all done from the P3 controller. So you no longer need to walk around and push buttons on the display. So you have, if you have shows with many fixtures from the P3, it's a lot easier to just do it all remotely from the P3 controller. Also very important is the remote monitoring. So the P3 gets real-time feedback from all the fixtures. So you can get error codes, firmware updates, temperatures, all in real time. This is also very important for architectural installations, because then on our architectural installation, you can even remotely, via a website, log into the P3 and see how all the fixtures on the building are, do are doing. So you don't need to go to the building and see, hey, that product has a problem or that needs a, a firmware update. All of that can be done remotely with the real time monitoring in the P3. Last. Uh, advantage of the P3 controller before we get to a demo is how can it save you on the mix channels? So a lot of these products with many, many LEDs, for example, the Mac Ara PXL, a total has 160 LEDs inside. These products, if you would control them by the mix, they would consume hundreds and hundreds of the mix channels. And this becomes very expensive. You need a big console with many MPUs to drive it. But when you control the products via P3, you can actually put the fixtures in a small day mix mode and get all the pixel effects with video without having to pay for all those day mix channels. So a very efficient uh, solution. I have a little example of that. This is a show that was done in, in France. It's not a massive show, but seeing all these pixel control products without P3, this show would have used 168 universes of DMX. So very complicated console needed, very uh, complicated programming. This show was, however, done with the P3 controller. So all the pixel effects came from the P3. So you only needed five universes of DMX from the lighting desk.